Hey folks, how y'all doing? Hey, this is KBSMC. We're going to be doing a video of wiring up an LED light on a boat. And this is a 17 and a half foot tracker. Uh, probably a 1999 model, 98 model. And I've been rewiring the whole thing. My dad and I have been. Father-son project, but y'all know how that goes. Uh, Father-son project means son project. <laughs> I, well, you know, that's just how, you know, he's in Florida right now fishing, so good for him. So that's where I'd rather be, but I'm just uh, wiring up an LED C-Sense uh, utility strip light. And they're waterproof. Um, below, above and below the surface. And uh, pretty cool stuff. But I originally we had there years ago when we wired it up back in 2000, I think it was. We had the old uh, Atwood stern light, and right there in that hole right there is where, where we had it. But these things just burn a lot of juice, old incandescent bulbs, they'd burn a lot of juice. Yeah, it did the job. It's got o rings, seals, keep it waterproof. But this with this, y'all, I made me a plate. Got my screws in it, drove me a hole in the back. I made me a plate out of polymer plastic or starboard. But here's the material. You just cut the skill saw, then took the router and routered the edges. Stuff will last forever. Good stuff. This piece right here is probably 30 years old. But uh, I'm going to put me a one amp fuse in there. One amp. And then I'm going to go and wire it. Um, we'll be using a toggle switch. Blue C's. I dropped all my stuff right here. But I'll be, I'll be mounting that on the dash. Somewhere on the dash. Probably somewhere underneath the instruments. Yeah, I got bolt meters and stuff like that. Really, really ran, ran in the room with my other panel over there that I wired up and got that ready to rock and roll. I had to run all new wiring, new VHF radio, new Humberbird depth finder, you name it. That's where I learned a lot of my wiring every year, and I'm still learning. But putting a new blue, can't talk right today, blue C systems, weather deck panel switch. Um, and just on off. So, connect, connect your hot lead to here and your hot lead to there, and it makes a break in it where it shuts off the light. Okay? Then, over top of that, I'm dropping stuff all over the place. I'm using a Blue Seas Weather Deck panel switch waterproof boot. And what you do after you screw that in place, you put this uh, Blue Seas Weatherproof panel switch. This boot right over top of that switch right there. So we're gonna drill us a hole. Uh, it's probably close to three eighths. I'm saying three eighths of an inch. We're gonna give her a whirl if we have to. We're ream it up, ream it out a little more, and do her thing. All right. Well, let me get to stalling this puppy, and I'll show you what we got here in a minute. All right. Okay. Hey y'all, we're back. Which old boat project I've been working this thing for a while now. Or I guess I don't know, see about it. Get put all new gauges in it. Uh I still gotta adjust the RPM gauge. But when you turn the key on and it goes back down to zero. Uh fuel gauge. All right, I put a new sending unit in the tank, voltmeter, uh, and then I run all the lights to it. Like I said, new new waterproof fuse panel. And these light up when you hit the control. And you see, so you can see, see there. Yeah, it's lighted up. And over here, here are your gauges. 
Yep, it's a it's an art. I want to make tight spaces and this and that. Um. Yeah, y'all. I'm gonna cut that off. And bilge pump. No, that's that's a that's the uh, flasher. Okay. And right here is the like, live wheel. Over here is the bilge pump. All right. So anyway, got that in place, and of course, got your VHF radio. I'm gonna turn the battery switch on for that, I believe. Huh, it's not good. Uh, let me check something, something out here. Oh, one sec. Well, y'all, it would hook. It would help. I, I had to hook them back up. I had them on the hook so I could reroute them. But these are uh, male and female connectors, uh, waterproof. And plus, then I got my 3M uh, dielectric grease in there. It help corrosion. When you're around salt water or any kind of water, you want to make sure you get the right marine grade stuff. All right. But yeah, we got the VHF radio working. And uh, we'll go to Weather Channel. VHF Marine Weather. Storms, showers, Thursday, north winds 20 knots, winds 3 to 4 It's feet. October. Rain, Thursday night, north winds 15 to 20 nice knots, winds 3 to 4 feet. And it's got the... Rain likely, Friday, north winds 15 to 20 knots, with gusts to around 30 knots, diminishing... Pretty cool stuff, y'all. ...knots late, winds 4 to 5 feet. So, you want to get off of that, you just... North winds 5 to 10 knots, uh, winds 1 to 2 feet. WX, uh, get to the... Down to 68. I won't cut that puppy off. And here's a new depth finder installed. Humbird 541X. And right now, season. If I hit this button right here, let me cut her off again. I'll do it in simulation mode. Hold that button in. Oop. All right, there we go. We're in simulation mode now. And it's got all kind of stuff on it. But yeah, it's good, nice, nice system. Did a little bit of everything. It's right on the money. We're about 1.8 1.8 foot off the ground right now, and uh, it's pretty cool. Tell you the temperature. It's about 57.9 I hear right now. 58. Let me get out of that screen. Exit. I'll get a view. Just a double double view. It just tells you, it does a little bit of everything. Smaller numbers. All right, let me go, let me go into, uh, let me go into uh, simulation mode for y'all. Okay, folks, I figured out how to do it. Turn the machine on. Then you get to the menu button. That's right here. Simulator. Okay. Oh, this thing shows you everything. Size of the fish, the schools of fish, arches for the fish. This is a great scale. I like it.
This is a bomb contour. Or you can go into different modes. Like 3D and this and that. Or you can zoom in. Oh yeah. All kind of modes. Simulation. All right. Well, I just want to show you all that. Let me shut this down. All right. Anyway, we drilled a hole right here. That's where our toggle switch is going to go. Right, right here. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to come to the back side. And there she is. Oh. <laughs> right there. So I put it there so it wouldn't be in the way of anything. So where we can get to it and all that good stuff. But there she is. I'm gonna get to wiring it up now. Alright. Back be back shortly. Okay y'all, I just made my spade connections up. And I gotta go underneath here to my my panel board block panel block and I'll show you that here in a second this is where we got to go up on here all right there that's what we hope to right there all right so, I'll go on detail here in a minute okay y'all I'm upside down underneath the console this is my black sorry this is my black right here I'm gonna get my light and this is my hot right here that's going right there to my terminal block that's the positive side and there up there is negative side on top so we're gonna give a whirl and check out the lighting, see how we got it. All right, we're, we're gonna hook the, the wire to the negative lead and the positive lead and see what we got. And it's, a, it's tight up in here. But as you can see, steering, all the instrumentation. I mean, it's, it's a lot of stuff, y'all. Wish my solar stuff was, was this clean. But after I get everything buttoned up, I'll take and tile up all these wires about it away. And over here's your VHF radio. Right here coming through. So, yeah, y'all. Pretty good stuff. Hey. <laughs> That's a pretty sight, isn't it? <laughs> all right. And here's the hole that we did for the toggle switch. The light. It's going to go right in here. That where the hole's at. Hello. <laughs> Alright. Be back in a minute. Okay, y'all. Now I'm going to take. Got it all wired. Not all wired, but I'm going to test it. See if the light works. So I'm going to connect my positive. Dang, damn it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. One-handed camera stuff. There we go. We got LEDs, hot dog. That's gonna give you a right much light at night. So, yeah, those are those are sweet. These are underwater, above, and then below the water. All right, okay. Now let's get them. Put the toggle switch in there and all that good junk, and we'll be good to go. All right, y'all. Okay, y'all. We're back. We got the toggle switch hooked up and ran to the fuse block. And there's the light. Down will be in the off position. Up will be on. There we go. Now I just gotta put the switch toggle switch in place. 
screw the uh, light up to the side of the uh, panel. And there we go. All right, be right back. Hey, y'all forgot to mention, I always use marine, solar, or whatever it is, my connections. I use some 3M silicone paste, dielectric grease. Uh, it keeps, it keeps uh, everything lubricated. It keeps it from, uh, prevents oxidation, corrosion, uh, electrical terminals, battery, you name it. But yeah, y'all got a little, small little thin coat on there, and I got some right there, as you can see. Yeah, it's a must on anything electrical my, in my book, but on a marine, um, uh, on a boat, you know, that kind of stuff, definitely. Definitely salt water, and any, around any kind of water, you definitely want this. Like I say, solar, all my MC4 connections, I use this right here. Dielectric grease, silicone, DM, or just dielectric grease. Keeps some water out, and keeps everything from getting corroded. All right, we're going to button this thing up. Okay, y'all, we got the the uh, toggle switch mounted and got the light mounted. And that's sexy. Waterproof light LED. Oh, yeah. Nice little floor light. And uh, we're getting ready to put a rubber boot on here. And I'll show you my wiring well, I'll in here in a second. Let's put this boot on here, y'all. Okay, now we're going to put our rubber boot switch on now. Alright. So, pretty simple. Of course, I put about mid... Shoot, sorry, y'all. Put about midway. Turn the, you know, switch in, in the middle. And just screw on there. Put them in away. Hold up. It's hard to do one handy, y'all. I'm not gonna kid you. I'm not. There she is. She's on there. So yeah, that's 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 a slick operator there. All right, now I'm gonna show you my wiring. That should be out of way when we're running the boat or whatever. That's not gonna be in the way. I put this stuff right on the back. This this trim wants to do its little thing. It's gonna be gonna be heat be heated up. Oh, that's that's good. All right, I'll show you my wiring now. All right. Okay, y'all. Here's the toggle switch right here. Here's the hole where the light's coming through. And I use number 10s, through hole, stainless steel nuts and bolts. And the wire goes over to the block right there. And then my negative. That's going down to the right. And uh, that's about it. She up. There she is. All right. Okay, y'all. Uh, turn the lights out in the shop. And here's the deck light. Yeah, probably could use a couple more. It's pretty bright, though. I mean... I mean, it's not bad, but it puts off right much light for what it is, but anyway, I think, I think it's pretty good, but, and I also got the, the light on my camera on, so it really doesn't do it justice, plus it, it's not really all the way dark outside yet, so not too bad. Doesn't burn much juice at all. Alright, turn some lights back on.
But yeah, y'all, this is a, it's been a, it's a Pro uh, V17 tracker. I've been working on this. It's been a all winter project. Place the fuel sending unit in it. Sending unit in it. Clean the tank up. Emptied it. Put all new hose and connections on it. New battery. Uh, new cables. You know it. But, uh, and there's the light. VHF radio and all that good stuff. Anyway, I'm going to say thank y'all for watching. And y'all have a good one. Please subscribe. God bless and simplify. All right, now, y'all take care. All right, bye-bye.